gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest. Six five-minute rounds of one fall, one submission, or knockout to be signed. In the red corner, the Irish Canadian Steve Haggerty. And he's appearing in the blue corner for Will Cheshire, Steve Alvido. Hello again, Grapple Gazers. Nice to have you with us at the Assembly Hall Walthamstow once more. And this heavyweight contest starts off the bill, and a, quite a bill we've got for you this afternoon. Steve Vito of Ellesmere Port Cheshire, although uh, I noticed Bobby Palmer, the MC, say Wirral. Well, it is Little Sutton and Wirral, which is just outside Ellesmere Port in Cheshire, I believe. Steve Haggerty is opponent from London, 15 stone, one of each man. Both of them exactly the same weight. Round one. Six five-minute rounds, just one fall to decide this contest, and Tony Mansulli, the third man in the ring, in charge. Easily identifiable, Vito in his usual light yellow trunks. Peter persisting with this um, tough looking head scissors here. I don't believe uh, that these two have met before in the ring on television. I think this is their first meeting on the box. I can't really imagine that their styles will make for a tremendous bout. I'd much rather see, um, I think Grapple fans will agree with me, I'd much rather see Steve Vito fight somebody of the speedy, ultra-skillful type of heavyweight. Well, Vito knows what to make of this fellow yet. Haggerty, of course, in the leotard. And the headlock and strangle by Haggerty. Attempting his first folding press from the side. Only just gets a count of one, not really near. That's turned the lever with the lock. against it again now. <laughs> Each time he tries to... And he's gone against it very badly that time. Just 
just one minute, round one. And the first fall decides this contest. shaped to do exactly what he wanted it to do. Get Steve Vito behind him, but Vito wasn't having any. If he tries again, he's got eight seconds. His opponent can be as haughty as likes. Vito never changes. That handsome heavyweight from Ellesmere Port, Vito, wonderful wrestler, very strong, powerful, keeps himself ultra fit, and one of the nicest people in the professional wrestling business. Two, five to go, one fall to decide. Steve Haggerty from London in the leotard versus Steve Vito, Tony Mansully, the ref. <coughs> Semi Japanese triangle. <laughs> Haggerty. Tried this three times already in the first round and never made it. Now he's finally gone. before that uh, Hegarty decided to throw him very quietly and deliberately and I think he's left his head a wee bit near there could be in trouble but still the semi-Japanese stranglehold is on by Hegarty he's had this on over a minute now Coming up to two minutes, he's had this hold on. Couple of minutes to go in this second round. Full Japanese stranglehold now, Haggerty. He's had success with the single. Why not try the full one?
flying tackle for Ido. Out over the top and it's uh, Haggerty nearly caught him. Not enough. Nice throw, back throw there by Ido. Oh, this time it completely Haggerty went down far too low and he's got caught in a double leg Nelson and very nearly in trouble. He got a definite count of two then, Vida. And a minute left in the second. from the half Nelson took him back with the wrist lever on as well and Haggerty not happy with that one at all a little bit after the break then Leader warning him not to try that one again, and he has tried it again on the bell. Steve Haggerty. Irish Canadian origin, now uh, been residing in London for some time. Used to be tag partner with Danny Lynch, but I don't know if he still does that. He uh, leaves for Germany the day after tomorrow. And he's got a two and a half month tour on a couple of big tournaments over in Germany. And the main bout which follows this one, Johnny Kincaid versus Logan. Johnny Kincaid goes also to Germany tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. So quite a few tournaments uh, happening, important wrestling tournaments happening in Germany at this time of year. And here's one of them that's going in the heavyweight bracket. Steve Haggard in the leotard. Haggerty up to his old tricks in the last round is now continuing him in this. Good forearm uppercuts though, and that one with his man was down. And put it using the hair now, Haggerty. And this guy, oh, and again using the hair, but this time the referee spotted it. That's a public warning, Haggerty. Again, Tony Mansoli, the ref, making sure that both men were in neutral corners until he restarted the wrestling. Of course, uh, Vidor was in the neutral corner anyway on the deck. But Haggerty was made to stand back. Of course, he can hardly wait to go. He's got his man weakened. Caught back up. Oh, a little bit dicey, a little bit dicey that. Now the referee won't let that go. Again, trying to break him. The only way that Vito will get uh, will deal with this is to get a bit tough himself, which will be a pity. He'll spoil the ball generally. Again, driving the trunks. Then I think referee spotted it. No, he didn't. Just breaking them. And now 
Floyd Speedo are taking over a little bit on the tough stuff. The forearm smash is landing well now. Ooh, vicious posting. Moved the ring right across the assembly hall here at Wolfenstein. Got the oh, up the years, but the punch is retaliation. I think the referee will let that go. We just let steady it down, but he won't give a public warning for that. Because Vito did start that one by throwing his man by the ears. Well, that's what he's trying not to hear. And the base of the spine. Ooh. Another good posting, and less than a minute now in the third. The first fall. at ringside really angry with Steve Haggerty there she is but she couldn't reach him fortunately for her 30 seconds to go in the third seconds no real hold there but the bell will save it anyway well, there he is Vida who still assures me he has no speciality in the ring. Now, a man who's experienced as he is, you'd think he'd find something that he often wins about with or troubles other heavyweights with, but not Steve. He goes for the lot and tries to master every single hold in the freestyle rule book. I think just about done it by now, too. Second away and round four. Round four, three rounds to go. One fall decides the contest. Vito versus Haggerty. Haggerty in the leotard. And one public warning. Delivered in the third round. Oh, nicely out of the top. Now, how has he landed? Back in quite happily. Oh, body check, both men being counted. So it's just a bad landing for both of them, and they're both being counted. Will they make it? Which one will make it? Both of them make it at eight. And Vito, obviously getting up as a surprise element at the last second there. Switch posting and a nicely out, but it isn't out. Try to get him out over the top of the spin out, Vito. Drop kick gets him out. And not such a good landing there this time to Haggerty. And he's not going to make it. Nine. And there's no chance now. No chance. So Vito, quite happy standing on the ropes there, celebrating the. What that it was, but everybody pretty happy about that victory, as you can see, they're all trying to shake his hands. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Haggerty unable to beat the crown, the winner of the 